What is going on everybody, Estas here, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the Fed rate cuts, the interest rate cuts that we might be getting here in the next couple of hours, and how this could affect the stock market in the short term and in the long term. And I also want to share with you guys some things that you should keep an eye out for in the Fed meeting and some stocks and ETFs that I'm personally watching right now and looking to trade, and kind of my thoughts on the overall market, the S&P, the Dow and the NASDAQ right now on the 18th of September in 2019. So if you guys find value in this video, feel free to go down below, hit that like button. I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate you guys doing that. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see further content involving the stock market, trading, and investing. And let's get right into it, starting off with the S&P 500. I kind of want to show you guys what these markets have been looking like over the past couple of days as the markets have been preparing for the news that we are all expecting, which is a 25 basis point rate cut. So it's kind of like the calm before the storm right now is kind of how I'm viewing it, right? You guys can see on the 16th of September, this was on Monday, the markets really didn't do much. Sure, they gapped up to 3,000 on the S&P, gapped down to about <clears throat> 2990 then we ended up closing the day back up at 3000 overall not much movement other than that 10 point buffer um, that 10 point range that we were trading in Tuesday the 17th of September the markets really did nothing until power hour here where they ran from 2998 up to 3005 but nonetheless that was only a seven eight point day for the S&P and today so far guys you can see the market is down seven points right now down 0.23 percent and just really not much movement at all so I'm figuring this out and I'm kind of thinking to myself this could be literally just a point in time where the markets are cooling off the markets are calming down the markets are getting ready for what the news is going to tell us in terms of these interest rate cuts we all expect the cut to come but the question I'm asking myself is is this rate cut already priced into the market is this already priced into the market where we might experience something similar as to what happened in the previous Fed rate cut a couple months ago or really a couple of of weeks ago at this point where we got that 25 basis point rate cut and the market actually sold off right you guys literally saw that with your own eyes right I know you guys remember it the market sold the news of the rate cut because the market was going up 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 expecting the rate cut then all of a sudden we got the rate cut and then boom the markets drop so I'm interested right now are we going to see a similar scenario on the S&P 500 right now right if we just pull out some drawing tools very quickly you know some levels that are coming up in terms of support are 29.50 R 29.90 roughly this level right here that I'm drawing out for you guys you know if we break this level today on the rate cut news if we get it which again we all really expect us to get that rate cut we may be going down to 29.50 on the S&P but let's say we actually pop on the news you know this could be running up to all time highs again at 3027 which leads me to tell you guys with all honesty that I'm being very cautious in the market right now. I really haven't done any trading today because I really want to see how this market is going to react to this news, whether it's a rate cut, no rate cut, 50 basis point rate cut, which if that actually happened, guys, 50 basis points, the market will be at all time highs, no doubt about it, in my opinion. But I just want to see what ends up happening, right? If we go to the Dow Jones Industrial Average, you guys can see very similar movement on the five day, five minute. It. Not much movement over the past two days, three days in terms of the Dow. And if we pull up the NASDAQ, right, you know, very similar from the 15th, 16th of September all the way till now, the NASDAQ's moved up about 70, 60 to 80 points, roughly that area. So what you guys have to understand is the Fed cutting interest rates. This is really 
in my opinion, a tool to fuel the economy. Obviously, that is what interest rate cuts are for. When interest rates are being cut, more people are going to be borrowing, more people are going to be investing, more people are going to honestly just be doing a lot of things that stimulate the economy. So, in my opinion, you know, we're at a point where we may be seeing interest rate cuts, and a lot of you guys have done research and you know this for yourself over the next couple of months which leads me to my next point here about the fed meeting you have to understand and analyze what's their demeanor around future rate cuts in the next two meetings that we do have this year in terms of you know these uh these interest rate cut meetings right you know or these these the uh, um you know, Fed meetings, you know, are they really saying, are they coming out and saying we are looking to cut rates again in the future? You know, is it up in the air at this point? These are very important things because if they hint towards more rate cuts, let's say another 25 basis point cut in the next meeting and then another 25 basis point cut in the meeting after that. And at that point, the interest rates might be around 1.25% to 1.5. This could be news in itself that sets the stock market flying, right? Because right now the market might be pricing in the 25 basis point cut that we get today, but is it pricing in ones that we might get in the future? You know, if the Fed is showing a positive demeanor towards that, I'm not sure, right? So if we do get positive demeanor, this could be a catalyst that shoots up these Fed, or rather the uh, the stock market, right? So you guys can see, It's pretty much correlated to the Fed rate cuts, um, the stock market right now, and of course, the trade war, but that's a whole nother beast that's really meant for a whole nother video, But but the interest rates are a direct lever that can be pulled that, in my opinion, can really fluctuate the stock market um, to the upside or the downside. Obviously, if we got interest rate hikes at this point, the stocks would be be very, uh, you know, uh, negatively affected in my opinion, but a, ne- a negative or rather an interest rate cut that is positive for the stock market at this state of the economy with the economy slowing down. You know, again, this is just literally the Fed trying to really just continue fueling this fire to continue pushing up the stock market to keep the economy going for honestly as long as it possibly can before it does come to that point where it does collapse, guys, because let's be honest, that's going to happen at some point in time. It's inevitable that we are going to get a stock market crash. We are going to be in a recession soon. There's not going to be much the Fed can do to stop that. At this point, they're just trying to prolong that from happening. So that's kind of, you know, my opinion on how the Fed affects the stock market, what to keep an eye out for, which is those potential rate cuts coming in the next couple of meetings here in the next couple of sessions, because I think that could be a catalyst for the markets to continue to go up to all time highs. And uh, that's pretty much it, right? Just keep an eye on those. And let's just get very quickly into what I'm watching now in terms of stocks and ETFs, really focusing on these market ETFs right here. Because again, I think there's going to be some volatility in the next day, two days, three days. So I think it's a good idea to keep an eye on some volatility ETFs like TVIX, for example, which has been getting hammered to the downside, right? But let's say these markets sell off. TVIX is going to be one that I'm watching because as markets sell off, the VIX really, you you see this right here, the VIX, which is a volatility index. That's really all it is. You know, this is going to go up when the markets are selling off. And obviously when markets are volatile, then what happens guys, when that happens, TVIX goes up because it goes up when the VIX goes up and when the markets are selling off. So I'm watching this one in a bearish scenario here involving these rate cuts that we might be potentially getting. You know, if we're looking at some bullish scenarios, you know, TQQQ is one that I'm watching. That's interesting right now. We're pulling down from 67 holding that 50 SMA here on the four hour chart this one trades based upon the Nasdaq right it's an ETF that goes up three times what the Nasdaq is going up so let's say for example the Nasdaq's up two percent one day TQQQ is going to be up six percent that day so let's say for example interest rate cuts happen 
right, which again, we all think they're going to happen. Let's say the future guidance is very good in terms of more interest rate cuts. You know, the NASDAQ might explode. The stock market might explode. TQQQ at that point is set to pop is set to have a gain of at least let's see here four or five percent and if it goes to a higher high to continue the uptrend even more than that six seven eight percent another one that i'm watching is spx L. SPXL trades based upon the S&P 500. It goes up three times with the S&Ps going up, kind of similar to TQQQ with the NASDAQ, but this one, like I said, is strictly for the S&P 500. You guys can see here, S&P 500 bull ETF. So let's say we get the interest rate cuts, positive guidance, S&P explodes, market explodes, SPXL watching this one closely for a day trade, um, you know, just hopping in and out of it as the markets, if the markets were to go up on that news. Another one that I'm watching, which is a stock here, um, not necessarily an ETF or an ETN, is Tesla, guys, ticker symbol TSLA. And Tesla right now is looking attractive because it's holding that level of 244, 245 as a support, which is what I've been talking about here on the channel over the past couple of of videos if we successfully hold this and let's say start to break up into the high 248s maybe low 250s this could be the sign that we want to fill the gap up to 265 that tesla wants to fill that gap which would offer us around a five percent margin of profit here so just watch it guys you know if it breaks 244 242 just just this general level of support we may be going down to retest that 50 sma um at around 235 236 which honestly at that point it's not like the downtrend would be broken it's just we'd be getting an even better opportunity to buy it at a dip if you are looking to swing trade it but either way i'm looking to see if we hold and pop this could be the entry but if we dip below and start to go to 236 this could also be the entry but either way patience is a key here with tesla and uh yeah that's really it for that one wmt i want to talk to you guys about this one very quickly before i do end off this video i call this one out i believe on monday's video or sunday's video on this dip where it was holding the 50 sma as well as an old resistance as a new support at around 115 dollars you guys can see that you know we broke 115 back in the middle of july making it a support we pulled down we reached tested it back in the beginning of September on the 6th to be ex uh, exact. We popped the 118, pulled down, retested it again, and now we're starting, <coughs> excuse me, to pop again. So this could be a point where we may be getting in on an entry to another higher high, which would be another all-time high here, I believe, in Walmart. So Again, I don't want to hold you guys too long in this video. Those, those are just a couple of stocks and ETFs that I'm watching. Walmart, Tesla, of course, all these market ETFs. There's a bunch of other ones that I'm going to be talking about in the later video today. So subscribe, hit that like if you want to see the later video today. And uh, those, those are just my uh, opinions on the market, Fed cut, you know, all these different things that are going on. It's just very important to keep an eye on all of these things um, because they do have an effect on the stock market. So let me know down below in the comment section what are your thoughts on everything. Again, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. It's greatly appreciated. Good luck in the markets today in the next couple of days, guys. Uh, be cautious. Be careful. But take trades confidently. And uh, that's it. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.